and cold. Do you have a ribs? I didn't end. What's this black? It's like, it's broken. Oh, there we go. I didn't finish filming yesterday. We had ice cream and then I went home and went to bed and then I went to work and now I'm back at Universal again. Yay! Um, Ollie, who I was here with yesterday, is already here. Mark and Charlie. Um, and we have come here after finishing work uh, to try and go on at least like one ride or something. And then we're going to go for dinner in City Walk. We're going to go to Cowfish. I've never been there before. It was on the list, so it's a nice way to kind of finish off my Universal time. But yeah, this is probably the last time I'm going to be here, I think, which is quite sad. Had to happen at some point. Your first butterbeer? Yeah. Yeah. It's I know. I, I, yeah. Yeah, you broke me. I, I don't even know what to say. I know. Oh my god. Merlin's beard, I'm telling you what. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we've got butter beer. I like that. And we're outside the castle I'm taking last pictures. We're gonna miss this place. Look at it. Rajas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. What do you think about this song? about gluten free. <laughs> Look at this. How do you see? I'm getting good blog footage for you. I'd be awful at this. Grace's skin looks really good though. Confessional. When you're at Perifesh? Other chances of you turning this What was the first part? Right here. Seven to one, seven to one. Okay, seven to one. Play, play. Three, two, one. Five. Thought you were going to see me blow my brains out there. just got back home after an evening in Universal at City Walk. Um, the food in Cowfish was really good, I really enjoyed it. I'd definitely put it on the list if you're spending some time in City Walk, it was good. Only really if you like burgers and sushi, there wasn't much else on the menu. But anyway, it's late, I'm gonna head inside and go to bed because I'm tired after work today and I'm working the double shift tomorrow. So I start at 11 and I finish at probably 10.30. So I'm gonna head off to sleep and I will maybe see you tomorrow, if not, see you on Thursday. Bye. Oh God. <laughs> Thursday. Um, it is like 8 something, 8.30. I've just got to Disney Springs. We spent the day in Typhoon Lagoon, as you can probably tell by my, look at this, not very good. <laughs> We've just got to Disney Springs. We're gonna spend an evening here. We're gonna see if we can do the Star Wars Void thing, uh, which is like a virtual reality experience that we've wanted to do. Might get a blaze, might. She's found Star Wars. <laughs> Dark side. I really want this one. Look at this. I skirt. love this skirt. It's so cute. I love it. Mm. It's adorable. Yeah, we might go to Rag and Red get some drinks. Not too sure. We're just kind of going to spend our last little roommate evening together. 
because this time next week we've moved out, which is... This is the thing from earlier. Yeah, I know. I wanted this earlier. I like this one more, I think. Yeah, I love half. Yeah, I like the green better. Right. We're going to have a good evening. Ellie, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from London! <laughs> okay, we were really lucky and they gave us a walk in time for in 30 minutes, so we're going to do that. Um, we get a cast member discount, so we were quite lucky. It's not too expensive. I'm really excited because neither of us have properly done virtual reality before. I did it once at the Space Centre a couple of weeks ago, but it was um, only for like 10 minutes. So we're just going to pop into Ghirardelli's and get our free chocolate, which Caroline didn't know about. 51 weeks. I didn't know you didn't <laughs> Can I have 51 chocolates, please? Could you owe me one? <laughs> oh, this shot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Really excited. <laughs> this is Clary Tail's favourite thing. Oh, really? Have you tried Ghirardelli's before? It's so yeah, good. I don't want to go home. <laughs> baby, go home. Okay, we've just got out of the void. We went in at 9.15, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties twice, but happened, the same thing happened to both of us. Um, I won't spoil it, but they were very kind and they let us do it again, so we ended up doing it like two and a half times. Um, and the last time it was just the two of us, which was really cool. So uh, it's really awesome. It's around $35, and if you're a Star Wars fan, it's 100% worth it. Yeah. If you're- I would pay to do it again. Yeah, I would, like, it was 100%. so good. Um, even if you're not a Star Wars fan, it's still worth it because it's so real. Like when you when there's fire, you feel the fire. When you get shot, you you feel like you've got shot. So good. So 100% do it if you can when you're next to Disney Springs. It was really really worth it. I can't, no, but you can. Where is the Irish accent? So right. Why don't you have a British accent? Why don't you have an Irish accent? Why don't you have an Irish accent? No, okay, well, we'll do the PC. We can't be chopping the queue with Wagon Wheel. Alright, we gotta do a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
absolutely loved it and uh, yeah it's a great place to go and get some sun and have some fun and you know enjoy the water and then did Disney Springs the void is incredible you have to do it if you're in Disney it's so so incredibly worth it and just like other, un, like anything you'll ever experience anywhere else it's incredible even if you don't care about Star Wars you have to do it it's brilliant and then we just got some drinks and some snacks at Raglan Road in Disney Springs which is one of my favourite places to go um, it's like an Irish pub restaurant they do live music and dancing it's just so chilled not too expensive and uh, we sat there for a couple of hours now we're home I'm literally gonna fall asleep I'm so tired so I'm gonna go wash my face and then head off to bed and uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow tomorrow's my last day off as a Disney cast member which is really sad so part of me feels like I should be doing something incredible and amazing and you know out of this world even though everything in Disney world is and the other half of me is just overwhelmed and like oh maybe I'll just kind of have a chilled day and not do too much but we'll see I've got packing and things to be sorting out and stuff so I have no idea but I'm gonna go and go to bed because I'm absolutely tired so tired and I will see you tomorrow good night